Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We have an article today that will uh, exemplify, I think, uh, how um, information is manufactured or how truth is disseminated towards us. And this um, information or this article comes from uh, the new voice of Ukraine and uh, I think it's very pompous, it's very, um, how should I say it, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a fantastic piece of news that for me at least it, it's either hard to believe because it's a, uh, how should I say, it's a lie uh, entirely or you can also find, uh, you know, certain uh, achievements, uh, little achievements that you can turn them into big achievements. But let me read you what this is all about and um, discuss it. So as I said, this comes from the new new voice of Ukraine, July 3rd, 2022. And this is the title, Ukrainian Army Regains Control of 1,000, exactly 1,000, locations from Russian invasion forces, Zelensky said. So Zelensky comes and says, hey, we regained control of 1,000 locations from the Russian forces. What does that mean? Russians occupied them, right, advanced, but that means that we regained control, right, regained uh, control, that means we pushed them back and we are, you know, winning. So we pushed them in 1,000 locations. Now, location meaning that, uh, the, the, that piece of uh, rock over there, that piece of grass over there, that road over there, that tree over there, those are like, what, five locations already? Or are we talking about towns? What exactly? What, um, what location? What is the location? What do you consider location? That, that, that's, that's the key word. Oh yeah, it could be 1,000 locations. As I said, a rock here, a tree there, a road here, a corner of a building there. Those are all locations and that could be true. I push you back there, you push me back here. Or is it towns? Is it villages? Is it what? What is it? Let me see what point of interest are those. So let's see. Another 2,600 locations are still under Russian occupy, occupation, Zelensky, Zelensky said. So what does that mean? If 2,600 are still under Russian occupation, they regained 1,000. That means there were, what, 3,600, right? We put them all together. So as of now, Russia occupied at one point 3,600 locations. So location, 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 advancement, advancement. And then that 3,600. If these guys here now regained 1,000, that means that 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 here. So push the Russian back. A third, I would say. Almost a third of its gained. Could, is it true? What do you think? I don't think so. So, I posted a video a minute ago with Russia announcing that they took uh, Lishansk and they took uh, control of the whole Luhansk uh, um, um, region. Um, uh, they took control of it. So now, Obviously, they're both lying, or only one is lying. This the article I <coughs> I posted was uh, Putin was informed about the full occupation of Luhansk region. Now, with full occupation, that means you gained everything you had to gain over there. And these guys say we got one thousand out of two thousand six hundred because they still have to right two thousand six hundred. So. We managed to liberate, I'm quoting Zelensky, because Zelensky said that another 2,600 locations are still under Russian occupation, Zelensky said. All right, out, that means out of about uh, 3,600, because you, you, you uh, liberated 1,000. So I'm quoting, we managed to liberate 1,027 towns and villages, while 2,610 more still live under occupation. Okay, I got it. I will report that and I will uh, hold you accountable in about uh, a day when I will come and find out that actually Russians are still rolling west. Or maybe not. Maybe Zelensky know what he's, knows what he's talking about. So remember, 
they managed, the Ukrainians managed to take back 1,027 towns and villages, villages, while 2,610 more villages and towns live under Russian occupation. So they pushed back a, a, a quarter, a, a third, I'm sorry, a third, almost a third. All right. Uh, with hundreds of them having been com completely ruined by, ruined by Russian army, Zelensky said. Um, he says, moreover, the Russians have attacked dozens of Ukraine-held cities and towns with rockets and miss missiles, damaging local property and killing civilians. Mm -hmm. All right, now, um, it says in Ukraine, in Ukraine South, Russian, Russian occupation forces have been trying to cement their control organized pseudo pseudo referendums distributing russian passports and introducing russian currency for commercial use that means they are way ahead of their schedule or at least uh, they're achieving part two of the or gaining the part two of uh, of the whole um, the, the reasons why they said and the goals for which they fight which is uh, making sure that they liberate uh, those uh, uh, areas east uh, of U east ukraine where russians mostly live and uh, they uh, protect them from being killed by the ukrainian army since 2014. oh i know that's very inconvenient truth but that's what basically but not basically not basically technically literally this is what happened now uh, i'm just going to be stuck with this claim of uh, that zelensky made and uh, why would he do that? It's only one reason why he would. Um, a few reasons. I'm not uh, you know, excluding everything. Or first, he needs to show that he's still in the in the fight. Uh, but he he shows that with with voice, with the, you know, not with actually. I don't, I don't think that's that's that that's how it is. But I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait. Why? Because I see on the other side that those guys took uh, Severodonetsk. They took uh, Lishansk, took the whole uh, Luhansk region. And these guys are telling me that they actually take back. I would like to know, mention some names of towns that you took. But maybe it's true, but I, I doubt it. So he needs to show strength. And then he needs to tell his masters, you know, he's like you, you get a task assigned by, I don't know, your boss, supervisor, manager, whatever it is. And you, after a time, he you know have to report back and say, "Hey, this is where I'm right now. Let me report. This is the achievement so far. So, but I need some more resources. I need this. I would like to have this in order to this." So he's reporting to the world, which is actually Great Britain, and says, and his citizens, that we are winning, we're uh, achieving victories, but we need more uh, weapons, basically, or more support, so we can really do it. And you know. Um, the population could uh, feel that there's hope in winning and they will believe in that. But what's going to happen when they're going to find the truth? What is going to, they going to have all, uh, what, uh, Xanaxes and uh, other, uh, you know, Adderall given to them or something to calm them down, like here? Because they're going to all be uh, full of anxiety and uh, depression. Is that what's going to be? Or are you going to do what? Who's gonna? Who's going to be? You know, um, uh, who, who's gonna be us? Okay, you lie to us, and then the weasel will say, no, 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 we didn't lie to you. Everything happened, but somehow they turn everything around and they won the whole thing. Weasels. Anyway, so one thousand uh, locations liberated yesterday or today, today by uh, uh, Ukrainian army. And there's two more, uh, 2,600 more, that's another uh, two thirds to be liberated, which goes like this, they will be. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.